Money laundering through art and antiques. Money laundering with art and antiques is a type of financial crime where criminals use the art market to hide the proceeds of their illegal activities. This involves purchasing artworks or antiques with illicit funds and then selling them at auctions or through dealers to legitimize the funds and make them appear as if they were obtained from legitimate sources. Here are some ways money laundering can be carried out with art and antiques. Overvaluation, the criminal can purchase an artwork or antique for a low price and then declare a much higher value for it, either for insurance purposes or to sell it at auction. This can inflate the price of the item and make it appear as if it is worth more than it actually is. Smurfing, the criminal can use multiple small transactions to avoid detection. For example, they may purchase several low-value items and then sell them at auction for a high price. Trade-based laundering, the criminal can use artworks or antiques to facilitate trade-based laundering, which involves using the movement of goods to conceal the transfer of funds. For example, they may purchase an artwork in one country and then sell it in another, using the transaction to move funds across borders. Shell companies, the criminal can use shell companies to make it difficult to trace the ownership of an artwork or antique. They may purchase an item using a shell company and then sell it through another shell company to conceal the funds. Freeports, the criminal can store artworks or antiques in freeports, which are secure warehouses where items can be stored tax-free and without customs duties. This can make it difficult for authorities to track the movement of the items and the funds involved. To combat money laundering with art and antiques, there are regulations in place such as AML, anti-money laundering, laws which require art dealers and auction houses to carry out due diligence and identify any suspicious transactions. Additionally, institutions like Interpol and the Art Loss Register have created databases of stolen artworks to help identify and recover them.